So this is how I got everything rigged up. I got my key taped to a piece of MDF. Got my laptop on the roof up here. And this makes it nice and easy to turn and start. All right, just to show you the timing settings uh, under more ignition options here. Uh, you got cranking advance. It's usually set to 10 degrees, or at least on my tune it is. So I knock that down to zero degrees uh, just to check the timing. You can also go to Tools Trigger Wizard here. And it'll show you this nice big uh, way to set your offset. So if you've got a good set of timing gears, it'll say <clears throat> exactly how many degrees you're at. You can just match it to here and you change your offset angle uh, up and down with the keyboard to get it just right. So uh, go ahead and make sure I put that back where it was. And I should be good. I think the timing looks good. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and shoot the timing and make sure that everything's uh, looking good. I got my timing gun uh, borrowed from a buddy now. Got it set up on uh, coil number one. <clears throat> and I'm going to be pointing it at these timing gears here and looking for the, the uh, timing marks to line up. They're painted yellow on these cam gears. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and crank the engine. I did pull the spark fuse, so or I'm sorry, the uh, the fueling fuse, so it's not going to be dumping any fuel into the motor, and so it, I don't expect it to start here. Just trying to verify the timing's correct. I also set the timing advance down to zero degrees for uh, cranking because I just have the two marks to line up with, so uh, I just got to make sure that they line up at zero degrees, and we'll go ahead and set it all back and get it ready to actually go.